Hello, it's Jenny Payne from Seattle Naturals, and today I'm doing a video discussing how to go natural. Um, so that's one of the main questions that we get in the group is how to go natural, how to begin, how to start your natural hair journey, because uh, it can be overwhelming, you know, so you got to kind of figure out what are the steps. What are the steps to going natural? So I'm here to kind of hopefully answer those questions for you guys um, and make you know, beginning your journey a little bit easier. Um, so first things first, you're going to want to decide what method you're going to use to start your journey. So the main methods people use to go natural are the big chop, where you just basically cut your hair down to the new growth and, you know, walk a little afro or even some people go completely bald so a big chop is a pretty drastic measure i big chopped uh, i feel like it was one of the best decisions literally of my life um, but it's not for everyone so then there's also uh, transitioning so you basically grow your your natural hair out the new growth out um, as you slowly trim off the processed or heat treated ends um, and you basically just grow it out to until it's at a length you're comfortable cutting the rest of your uh, damaged ends off. So uh, with transitioning, um, you'll want to use probably a lot of protective styles to blend the two textures um, and just make sure that you're still maintaining and taking good care of your processed or heat treated hair so that um, it doesn't break off and break up into your new growth or natural hair. Um, and then there's the lock journey. So getting dreadlocks, sister locks, braid locks. There's so many options to start your hair with locks. Uh, you can start them with twists. You can start them with coils. You can do free form. Um, I highly recommend at least having a consultation with an experienced loctician. Um, maybe have them start your journey off for you, even if you decide to do it on your own. Um, I still recommend having that discussion because there's a lot of different things um, on a lock journey that are different from um, your typical natural hair journey, like what products and things to use so or not to use. Uh, so once you've figured out what your method is, uh, you'll want to learn the next step, the specifics of your hair. So what curl type you have, if your hair is coarse, if your hair is fine, if your hair is thick, if your hair is thin, if your hair is high porosity or low porosity. Um, it's a lot. Don't get overwhelmed. You are not going to figure these things out right off the bat. Um, there's some things that you learn as you go, but I learned them over years <laughs> of time. So this hopefully will help you uh, learn these things maybe over the matter of a few months because I didn't even know <laughs> these different things that I should have been looking for in my hair. And those are the things you should be looking for in the specifics, or I guess the personality of your hair. Um, so once you can kind of get a grasp on what those um, personality traits of your hair are, then it'll help you in the next step, which is uh, products and tools. So I'm not going to really discuss... Um, brands necessarily because everyone's hair is so different. Um, if you have questions about brands, um, you can definitely post them in the comments, but I'm just going to list some of the staple uh, products and tools that you'll need. Uh, you will need a good cleanser. Um, so there's different methods of cleansing. Some people are uh, no pooers or co-washers. Um, some people do shampoo. Some people use, you know, clay or apple cider vinegar. There's a bunch of different methods to clean your hair. Um, the thing I would recommend is uh, make sure that you clarify your hair at least you know, on a semi-regular basis. Like I shampoo my hair once a month to clarify it. Um, Co-washing is great. It's moisturizing and things, but uh, you will want to get rid of the buildup on your hair pretty regularly because buildup can stunt your natural hair journey. It can stunt the health of your natural hair. Um, so you'll need a cleanser, number one. Two, you'll need a conditioner. Now this could be a regular conditioner that works really well, but I recommend a deep conditioner at least, you know, once a week or so. Um, so a good rinse out conditioner that will replenish your hair after you've, you know, cleansed it. 
um, conditioners tend to be a little more acidic, so they help smooth the cuticle and, and uh, infuse moisture and nutrients back into your hair. Uh, the next one you'll want uh, is a moisturizer. So this is typically, it should actually always be a water-based moisturizer. Moisturizer is basically hydration, which is basically water, which is the core thing that your hair needs. Um, those other things kind of fortify the water, but you'll want a water-based uh, leave-in moisturizer. Um, you will want a sealant, which is usually typically oil-based or butter-based. Um, so olive oil is pretty much the most popular one, very accessible. Um, and you'll want, um, yeah, you'll use an oil to seal the moisture in. So you've cleansed it, you've moisturized it, hydrated it, all of that, and now you want to seal the moisture into your hair to keep it moisturized longer, to keep the moisture from evaporating out of your hair. Um, you'll want to do this on a semi-regular basis, even if you're in a protective style. Moisturize your hair, do not forget your edges, do not forget your nape. Um, from, from the top down, you'll want to moisturize your hair um, and then seal it. And then tools, you'll need a detangler. Um, so typically this is a white toothbrush or something, or excuse me, a white tooth comb or something like a Demon brush or a Tangle teaser um, are pretty much the most popular ones. You'll want something that doesn't snag on your hair, doesn't cause more uh, breakage and, and knots, you know, so pay attention to the tool that you're using that could cause um, manipulation damage. Um, Every natural will tell you you're going to need bobby pins, you're going to need stretchy hair bands. Like, just just go ahead and get a Costco subscription, you know, and <laughs> just buy that in bulk because you're going to need them and you're going to lose them and you're going to need more of them. So get a bunch of those as your hair grows out. If you're planning to have longer hair, you're going to need those. Um, you will need a scarf you know, or a bonnet or something to protect your hair at night or a satin pillowcase. Um, so yeah, those are the main tools, a detangler and, you know, something to pull your hair up, tie it back, hold it down, um, and something to protect it at night. Um, styling. So if you're not super proficient in styling, I highly recommend two strand twists. They're typically the easiest style to do and they're kind of a two for one so you're gonna do your twist you can wear them for a couple days and then you know take them out and wear a twist out for another couple days so uh, twists are the simplest style and um, then once you get comfortable with you know how to twist it how to get your hair to lay the way you want it or you know then you can get into flat twisting and things like that YouTube is a great teacher um, so definitely check that out you can pretty much find any style that you're thinking of in the search engine of the YouTube natural hair section. Um, and, um, you know, talk with a stylist again. If, if you're one that pr prefers to go see a professional and get your hair styled, then I highly recommend researching a stylist that is invested in helping you grow your hair and, you know, in a healthy way. Um, and they'll, you know, they can give you some tips about styling and, and, the needs of your hair, you know, um, so, uh, yeah, so styling, and let's see, goals, set some goals, so your main goal should always be health, um, health should be your main goal for your natural hair, whether you're wearing it short, where you're going to keep it in a fade, whether you're going to lock it, whatever you're going to do with it, uh, health should be your number one goal, um, Length goals, a lot of people have length goals. The main thing you'll want to focus on in a length goal is uh, length retention. So that means retaining the hair on the end. So if you've got a pretty healthy system, your hair is going to grow out of your scalp. It's just going to grow. Um, but if you're not taking care of your hair, you know, from that point, then it can just break off at the ends and you'll basically plateau. Um, your hair will seem to stop growing. Um, and really, it's just breaking off faster than it can grow in. So you'll want to pay attention to that. The The key is trims and moisture, trims and moisture, trims and moisture. Uh, keep your hair trimmed, keep your hair moisturized, um, and you'll have less breakage. Um, 
Let's see, uh, again, if you have goals with your locks and things like that, you'll want to discuss that with a professional loctician. Um, but yeah, the more you learn from them, the more you can maintain your hair at home and style it and things um, at home uh, without as much assistance there. So, um, and then routine. Routine is as important as your products, in my opinion. Um, you can buy all these fancy products, but if you're not using them correctly or you're not using them regularly like you should, like it really doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so have a routine. Your hair will appreciate it. It will make your styling so much easier. It'll take off time because you've scheduled in that time. Um, let me knock these twists out, and then you don't have to worry about it for like, you know, three, four, however long days, right? Um, so, yeah, get a routine and also perfect like at least two styles, two emergency styles. Like you take your, your hair out and your stylist, is, you know, gets the flu. Like you got to have something that, you know, you can just, <laughs> you know, and, and be confident in. So practice at least two styles. Even that includes head wraps, you know, um, things like that. Something that you can do to keep yourself from like having a major panic anxiety attack because your hair is all over your head, right? So, um, yeah, highly recommend that. Um, and, uh, yeah, the, the last tip would be to have patience, have patience with yourself. You're getting used to your hair, a new look, a new style, a new texture, you know, it's a lot. So have patience with yourself, have patience with your hair, um, and just be confident. Um, you're going to have days where, you know, it's not turning out, it's not looking good. You know, <laughs> you're going to have those days. And, um, you know, coincidentally, those are the days everybody's like, oh, my God, I love your hair. You know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't have the answers. But, um, you know, just uh, have confidence. What's growing out of your head is what's supposed to be growing out of your head. Um, it's yours. It's nobody else's. You can admire other people's hair, but your hair is always the best hair, right? So... <laughs> Um, you know, so hopefully this video helped. If you have any additional questions or actually have any other tips for your fellow newbie naturals, um, go ahead and um, put those in the comments and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!